Hey, welcome everyone. So we're going to use the social scripts now. The last video, um, we used the go-to URL for those of you that are just jumping into this um, um, this this video. And um, we used very basic um, iMacro. Just went to a URL. We went to Google. We went to sorry, we went to Gmail, and then we went to Facebook to see if we were logged in. We know we're logged in. So now we're going to go and we're going to automate some things in Facebook. First, I'm going to go and join some groups. I have some keywords here that I got that I uh, prepared earlier on and I'm just going to click check all and one and when I do one and click apply it's just going to take one keyword not that one it's going to do that one 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 two three four five six seven eight nine and it's going to pick one keyword for each project if I do two it'll and so on and so forth the same it'll pick three keywords for each project um, so it's kind of like a loop it's kind of like uh, so if you did two here it would go ahead and pick two keywords, four, and so on and so forth, five, so on and so forth, five keywords, and it's telling you which keywords each project is picking, so that each project is picking a separate group of keywords, and you're using five keywords for each one. So it's going to loop, it's going to pick those five keywords. If you want to then loop those, you can then come in here and actually um, use these settings that we discussed earlier on, and that will may allow you to use these group of keywords, so one to five, um, between one and let's say two times or one and five times so you would have in essence um, using these five keywords between one and five times so you'd be looping but we're not going to do that now um, we're just going to use it once click one and we have one two three four six seven eight nine okay so now we're going to go and click run and it's going to pick one keyword for each one and it's going to go and join a Facebook group Ah, uh, I forgot to unset the home page. I'll do that in the next automation. Um, but as you can see, this sh is what we're going to be working on the next update. Very um, simple functionality just to be able to control where um, what the home page is going to be before we run these browse IA scripts. So we can tick run via home page, run not, change home page. So you can on the fly decide, you know, which different sites can come from different URLs as well. That, that could also work really well. Um, so as you can see, it's logged. It's gone into Facebook. We're logged in and we're joining groups. It's going to join one group for each one. And that's it. As you can see, request sent up here. And then this one down here, as you can see, request sent. And this one, it hasn't done it yet. Let's open this up and watch it do the automation on a large scale. Just opens it up minimized. I just want to open it up so you can see the actual automation happening here. So we're now in Facebook and we're going to go and join that first group and click join, request sent and we're good. And I believe that should be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So they've all done that. They've all gone and picked an individual keyword. See bodybuilding motivation up here. This one was motivation, build muscle, bodybuilding pills, motivation, supplements, sorry, that's the one we looked at, supplements and muscle building. So each one went out and clicked on a totally separate keyword. So let's now do the same thing here for pages. So we're going to go out and we're going to like random pages by keyword and run. Ah, oh, I totally forgot again. I forgot to take to get rid of the homepage. So now it's going to go through the Google Plus again. Sorry, guys. It's going to take an extra 10, 15 seconds here. Um, but it'll go through the Gmail. Kind of looks better for, for Facebook that it's coming from Gmail as well. You can see the where the URL it's come from. That's easy. That's the kind of thing it would do. Um, and now it's going to go to Facebook do a keyword search, random those keywords, one from each one, and it's going to go and like one fan page. Bodybuilding motivation, motivational quotes, motivation, and I don't know, whatever this one's going to be. And it's just going to like, that should like that one, like, like, like. And it's going to go out and like all of these um, fan pages. And each one is using a separate keyword. 
it's waiting, and now it's about to like. I won't be able to see it. See it liked that. Liked, see? There you go, liked. And that's it, and we're done. And if it's if it senses something that it's already liked, it's just going to go past it and go to the next one um, that it hasn't liked. Um, and that's it. So that's how those scripts work. Um, the other part of the automation, instead of using keywords, is going to be URLs. And an easy way to grab URLs is going to be to go to Facebook here. We'll go to Facebook and we want to just grab a whole bunch of um, URLs within Facebook. So this is going to be like posts by URL that I want to do the demo of. And this is pretty this is pretty cool. What this will do is this, is this will you can put in groups that you're already a member of um, or just fan pages. So bodybuilding. I'm just going to open up this data source here just because so, I want to just drag over um, a whole bunch of URLs. So bodybuilding. And okay, cool. So I'm actually part of that group, so I can join that. That's joined. It says I'm joined. And I haven't joined that one yet, but this is a fan page. Let's go to pages. Let's see more pages. I just want to grab a whole bunch of URLs. It's a new profile. I don't know how many groups I'm a member of, but I'm going to go and find out in just a second. It's everything that I've done here on this profile is totally automated. I've never actually done any real engagement here. This profile here is totally automated. So I'm going to go and see in just a moment. I'm just and all I'm doing, all I did by the way, is I'm just literally dragging and dropping these URLs. Um, just grabbing a whole bunch of URLs I want to engage on. Okay, so if you're doing this within your single profile, it's already ready, it's there. Awesome. So I think that's enough now. Okay, let me copy those URLs. Okay, we can go to the groups. So let's see these groups. How many groups am I a member of? And I've never, okay, awesome, four groups. I've never joined any of these groups ma um, manually. These are all totally automated joinings, meaning, as you can see, zero posts. I've never engaged on any of them. Uh, I've never engaged in my profile here, I don't think. Let's have a look on the homepage. What have I got here? What have I done? And let's just, now I want to copy all of these with the groups that I'm a member of. So now I've got all of these fan pages to go and engage in groups that I'm a member of to go and engage. So what I do is I add them in here. And I actually want to only use this URL if I'm going to be doing the groups. So I'm not going to be doing just the groups. That wasn't the point. But I showed you as easily, just as easily as grabbing the URLs. You can go to the groups that you're a member of. And you can go and we're going to have ways to right click and send everything to the data source coming up as well. So you're not going to have to do all of this copying and pasting. But for now, you just drag it into the data source. And soon, just like we have sent to the dominator in FB Conversio, we're going to have right click, send to data source, send to data source. That's all coming. Don't worry, just to make this process even easier for you. So if I was just using this profile, then I would keep these groups in, but I'm not. So I'm going to delete those. I'm going to check all, and I'm just going to want one for each one. And it's going to go because I've got only nine. Let's see. One. Yeah, it's, it's for some reason. How many? No, I don't have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's doing something weird here. One to nine. Why one? Okay, so it's deciding to go over. It's not. I don't know why it's doing that. Ah, look at that. It's a little bug I found there. It's got all these, all this extra space that it's not sure what to do with. I think that's what it was. Use all lines. And nope, that wasn't it. Anyway, we'll work it out. It's not the biggest of deal. Tiny little bugs. That's why it's not been released yet. This version. So we're we're gonna. So what's this? What this is gonna do now is this is going to go and like posts randomly on these fan pages and it's going to pick one from each one here and it's going to go and randomly like these posts on this fan on these fan pages so we're going to run 
going to, you know, let me just close them down. Just show you can, you can do that. It's very easy. You can just right click, close it all down. It doesn't affect anything. Save. So now we don't have a home page and we're just going to go straight into the fa Facebook. Straight to Facebook. Straight to the data source info. It's going to head and grabbed. Each one is grabbed a different URL. And it's going to go and just randomly like one post on each page because I've only done one um, one to one. If I did one to nine, it will go and like nine posts randomly, which is actually going to be very cool to do. Very beneficial to be able to go out and just like a whole bunch of pages and get noticed, you know, by the fan page admin. Um, to, you know, they'll come and friend you, send stuff to you. That's the kind of stuff that Facebook wants to see real interactions happening. So you can automate all of that by using these macros and just going out and automate the engagement by just, you know, liking certain posts. Um, so if you're obviously not on like a page that's got 10 million likes, you know, fan pages, they're going to, they'll engage with you. Um, if, if it, if it's a bit of a smaller fan page, so that's it, it's done it. It's gone out and it's liked. As you can see, it's like that one. That's the one it's liked. This one is done as well. That's the one it's liked. See, these are all different fan pages. That's the one it's liked there. And we've only asked it to like one. That's it. Okay, so that's it. This is this this engagement is now you don't have to deal with this kind of engagement manually, especially with your tiers, with your uh, with your tier ones, tier twos, tier threes. Any of whatever tiers, just no more manually having to go and engage, which you're not doing anyway, um, because it's just not really possible to go and spend time to do that manually with um, tier ones and tier two. So we don't bother um, building up the authority of these profiles. We just build them and post to the profiles. And that's not the point of browser. Yeah, that's not the point of Facebook profiles. The point of it is to go and build the authority and to actually engage and to use them. So we've done that with Facebook. We know that we're logged into Google. So let's do some demoing around here with Google. And actually, I think this video has probably gone on way too long. We're at 12 minutes already, which is very, very, very long for training. Um, but we're going to call this the Facebook demo. And then I'm going to end the video here. And the next one's going to be um, the Google Plus demo. And I'm just going to do the similar similar stuff, um, but with Google Plus. And, um, and that should set you up for pretty much everything within Browsio IA. Um, the other video that I'm going to make separately is going to be if this, then that. So I'm going to show you exactly how to use all of the if this, then that script. And we're going to get to that in one of the um, one of the coming videos. The next one will be Google Plus, And then I'm going to go into if this, then that. And then we'll have everything covered here so that you guys um, have got all the information that you need to just go out and, and, and automate your social media, automate your life. Um, so I'll see you in the next video.